Hi makers, today we're getting ready for graduation with candy lays made three ways using hard candies. Give this video a like and make sure you are subscribed for weekly tutorials. For more behind the scenes content, make sure you are following us on Instagram and TikTok. For our first lay, I'm using a long needle and dental floss as our string. I want my finished lay to be about 40 inches and this lay will take one 30 ounce bag of Werther's Hard Candy. This is one of my fastest lays to make and you simply pierce the candy at one end of the wrapper and string it on. This lay takes about 30 minutes to make. You can use any hard candy that is wrapped like this that has a long enough amount of wrapper that the candy will stay on the string. Once I have reached my desired length, I'm going to tie the ends. The next candy lay is similar but takes longer. For this lay, you will need a needle, curling ribbon, any type of ribbon for the base, and any hard candy that is wrapped like these Werther's. I'm going to prep a bunch of my curling ribbon by cutting it into strands. Tie one end of each of your candies with the curling ribbon and double knot it. Once you have your candies ready, tie each candy around your base ribbon and curl the curling ribbon.
After tying the candies, slide it up so that the candies sit closely together. Continue tying on your candies until you have your desired length. I made a children's size with one 30 ounce bag of Werther's candy and I would suggest using two bags for a high school graduation or adult size lay. Once you are done tying on your candy, tie each ribbon in a knot and then tie the lay together with those two strings. To make our last candy lay, you need ribbon, lay twine, curling ribbon, and 40 hard candies. I'm using one and a half inch wide poly ribbon. The lay twine I'm using is often sold at Asian markets in the household aisle and is also available on Amazon. We will link it in the description box. I'm cutting my ribbon into 15 inch strips. Next, I'm going to prep some curling ribbon by cutting it into pieces about six inches long. To fold my ribbon, I am folding the backside up about six inches to make my bottom loop. I am taking the top of the ribbon and folding it down and making a crease that lines up with my back fold. Then bring your top ribbon to the rest of the ribbon to create the second loop. To keep this in place, tie a curling ribbon around it and double knot it.
Add your hard candy by using the same curling ribbon to tie on one end of the hard candy. I used 40 ribbons to make an adult lay. I have my lay twine and have braided the end. I'm going to braid my ribbons with my lay twine. For the ribbon to be secure in the braid, the braid has to be tight and you need at least half an inch of ribbon at the top of your candy. I braided a few times in between adding each candy. You can gift the lay just like this or add another layer on top by tying on money flowers or circles or gluing on silk or paper flowers. Here are our finished candy lays. Thanks for watching.